Today is day 15 for my Bon Maman advent calendar. Let's see what's behind door number 15. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. Here's door number 15. It is in the upper left hand corner of the calendar. And we have Mirabel Plum Spice Spread. This was in last year's calendar and I made a plum chutney with it that I paired with chicken and rice. I'm gonna taste it again just to refresh my memory. It's so good. It's not like a heavy spice at all. It's like a, a plum jam with just a, like a hint of spice. This is so good. It's such a nice combination of the plum and the warm spices. This is the leftover pie dough that I've had in my freezer for a week or two at this point. It's from the video where I made the apple blueberry pie. I put it in my refrigerator overnight thinking it was going to defrost, but it's still really firm. So I'm just gonna let it sit here for, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes just to kind of warm up a little bit so that I could roll it easier. And what I would like to do today is make a sugar plum hand pie. And I wanna cook it in a dash mini griddle and see how it does in the mini griddle. We've seen that we could easily make a pie in the mini pie maker, but can we make a hand pie in the dash mini griddle? That's my question. I just rolled out the dough. I tried to get it as thin as I could. And to cut it out, I'm using this pie crust cutter from the dash mini pie maker. I'm gonna use the smaller round from it. So there is one round. I just need to re-roll it to get the other round. I just rolled out the dough and now I'm going to cut out the next pie round. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. I don't know what my neighbors are doing. Okay. I'm gonna take my plum fruit spread and put it in the center of this pie round. I don't know if I'm gonna use it all. I think that's a good amount. And then I'm gonna put some water around the edges of the dough because I do want the top of the dough to stick to the bottom of the dough. So I figure, let me put some water in here, just kind of like I was making a dumpling. And then let's take the top. I'm gonna stretch it out just a little bit. Stretch out the top a little bit just to make sure it covers the bottom. Let's put it on the bottom and let's press the edges down. I'm probably gonna get a fork and press the edges down with a fork. Oh, there's a little bit of filling. Well, let's see what happens. We'll just crimp the edges with a fork. Hopefully that will keep this closed. I am concerned about this bottom portion that already has some of the filling leaking out of it. So the only thing I wanna do is poke a few holes in the top of this. So I'm just gonna grab a knife and let's just cut a few holes in this. Just to let a little bit of the steam escape. Hopefully that's okay. So that's what the hand pie looks like. Now I have to get my dash mini griddle. Here's my dash mini griddle. I just plugged it in. Once the blue light goes off, then we're ready to add our hand pie to it and start cooking. I should also mention that this hand pie is kind of like a homemade pop tart. So that'll be really interesting to see how it comes out. The blue light just went off. So let's open this up. Let's add the hand pie. It's like a perfect fit. Let's shut this. And to be honest, I don't know how long to cook this for. So, I mean, when in doubt, I always say eight minutes. So, I mean, let's check it in four minutes and see what happens. I wonder if it's gonna burn. It's four minutes later. Let's see what's going on in here. 
check this out. So the pie dough has actually shrunk. It's gotten smaller in size. And over here, we can see where some of the filling is coming out. It's probably where um, it was coming out before. But the dough is cooking nicely, and there's a little bit of browning on top. So I'm going to cook it for another four minutes. Let's see how it looks after eight minutes. It's been eight minutes now, and this smells really good. It smells like pie. And that's what it looks like. Look how nicely browned the crust is. But as we can see along this edge here, there is even more of the filling coming out. I'm going to unplug this right now and grab a plate. Here's the hand pie. I just sprinkled a little bit of sugar on the top of it since I'm calling this a sugar plum hand pie. And since it is a hand pie, I am going to pick it up with my hands and eat it that way. So if we take a look at this edge, we could see that there's a lot of the fruit spread coming out of this edge. So I guess I didn't do a good job sealing it, or it could be that it was only coming out of a portion and then it just spread itself around the outside. I'm afraid to bite into it if it's too hot. So I'm gonna get a knife. So let's cut this open and see what's going on inside. It looks nice, very flaky. There's still filling throughout, even though it's a thin layer of filling, I only put a thin layer of the jam in there. Remember, if we're comparing this to a Pop-Tart, Pop-Tarts don't have like a lot of filling. They have just like a, a thin amount. So now I'm gonna taste this. You definitely wanna let this cool because the filling is super hot. I just dripped a little bit of it on my hand and it was really, really hot. So definitely let this cool, but it is absolutely delicious. It is so good. This is similar to a Pop-Tart, but a million times better. The crust is so flavorful and flaky and delicate. It really came out good. And I love the Mirabelle Plum Spice Fruit Spread, especially when it's warm like this. It really adds to the flavor. And these would be great to make a bunch in advance and then freeze them. And then when you want to have them, you know, just heat them up. But I'm super happy with how it came out in the Dash Mini Griddle. I would never think to cook a pie in the Dash Mini Griddle, but it definitely works as far as like these hand pies go. So that's what I did with my Bomamon fruit spread today. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see what else we can make with the Bomamon fruit spreads in this advent calendar. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.